Hey guys, if you're shopping for knives and gear, make sure you check out the description of the video you're watching right now for links to some great online retailers. There's also individual links for knives that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I know exactly, well I kind of know what's in here. Um, so Western Active, the, the people who are behind the Honey Badger, they reached out to me, uh, emailed me and said, hey, it's been a while since you've taken a look at one of our products. Do you want to check out some new stuff? And I said, yeah, because the Honey Badger is a good knife, right? Um, and they've got some different variants and different things, right? So I'm going to be linking uh, this stuff right down below. You guys can check it out. Uh, thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me right now. If you guys want to check out my Patreon, there's, of course, a link right down in the description. You support me in the world to me. And please follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. We are uh, rocking the one of the new backgrounds today. I actually purchased some uh, white carbon fiber vinyl upholstery, and this is the light gray. Uh, the purpose being to contrast with whatever it is that I'm showing. And uh, I probably could have used the black carbon fiber today, but I, I don't know. This is new and different and got to keep it fresh, right? So, oh man, that sounded really, really cool. How cool of me to say keep it fresh. All right, cool. We got one thing there and I'm trying to... Just a couple other things. All right, some stickers. Awesome. Let's just lay this stuff out here. We've got a microfiber pouch. I think there's another sticker right there pretty cool and there's another box right here so they they said they were sending me a kit oh cool yeah so they sent me these uh these white scales and apparently you know what people can do is they can writ dye them so uh they'll they've got this the scale and and the uh backspacer pack here go ahead and get it out and then uh you can leave them the way that they are which apparently you know some people i kind of like how they look but then you can writ dye these and make them whatever color you want. So let's take a look at the knives here. Okay. First one up. We've got something in blue. Oh, yeah. They upgraded the steel to D2. Cool. <laughs> That's cool. This is the sheep's foot D2. These are a little bit more... I don't know. These feel a little bit more robust than I remember originally. But... It's been so long. They were right. It's been a long time. Should we turn the exposure up a little bit? Yeah, how about some brightness there? It really has been a long time since I've reviewed a Honey Badger knife. And if you guys don't know, uh, the Honey Badger is extremely inexpensive. And, you know, generally speaking, I think most people will agree that these are good little EDC knives. I like that it's got the hole in it. You can absolutely do that reverse flick. These run on bearings, right? So you get that satisfying action. Flipping action's good, right? No blade play up, down, left, or right. And the blade on this guy is centered. Now, this isn't a review. Uh, given that it has been so long and these do feel different from the one that I reviewed like literally three years ago at the beginning of my channel or when I started my channel, I, I will do a re-review uh, and talk about these again. Absolutely. So that's cool. Sheep's foot variant and D2 steel. And then we have... Is this the... Um, well, let me look on the box. Hang on. Hawkbill. Yeah. Okay, cool. Let's take a look here. They asked me, they said, what do you want to look at? And I said, I'd like to look at the Hawkbill. Now, you know, a lot of you are going to point out, oh, no, it's serrated. I, I don't know. I feel like there's a version of this without serrations. In any case, some people do like serrations, right? And me personally, not generally a serrations guy, right? And not generally a hawkbill guy, but it is interesting. Some people find a lot of use for a blade like this. Um, I like the uh, choke up point on this. Now this guy is an ATR 13 MOV, uh, and is it just a little? I think it's the. It's just a little bit smaller, right? So there you go. I think there are different sizes and different blade shapes. Obviously, there's different colors. I'm gonna link the website down below so you guys can check it out. And oh, hey, there you go. Uh, join the VIP club and get 15% off. Go to westernactive.com slash register. Um, truthfully, I don't have any affiliates links or anything set up with them. They just offered to send some stuff for me to take a look at. And I'm going to give you guys my honest thoughts when I do the full review. So uh, here in a couple of weeks, you'll see a, a uh, or maybe, might be a little bit sooner than that, considering I've already got a feel for these. I still remember them. Uh, honey badger knife. I mean like the handle profile and the manipulation of everything. I still kind of it's kind of logged away in my memory So maybe sooner than that, but um, but yeah, you guys will see this again here um, Shortly in a full comprehensive review. I appreciate uh, 
uh, Western Active for sending me this stuff. This is cool. Um, yeah, I don't know that there's anything else that I need to point out here. I really like the idea of getting the scales and, you know, the backspacer being separate. You actually could, if you wanted to, you could dye each one a different color and get whatever contrast you'd like. So that's cool. That's an inexpensive way to customize your knife. And uh, the whole DIY thing is, that's kind of neat. I honestly, I, I think I kind of want to try maybe picking up some writ dye and doing this on camera just just to do it. I don't know if you guys would find that entertaining, then I would certainly consider it. But anyways, I think that's, I think that's pretty much it guys. Uh, once again, be sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do of course have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that metal complex right, uh, logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a great day.